Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Dongming Lu from Zhejiang University. Uh, the name of my presentation is called The Development and Application of Grid Technology at Zhejiang University. Uh, in today's topic, we will discuss two topics. First, about research and application progress of grid technology at Zhejiang University. From 2000 year, Zhejiang University have already an academic term uh, composed of com experts from College of Computer Science and Astronautics at Zhejiang University. Based on the complex network environments, our research is mainly aimed at two domains, the debt resource sharing and the grid computing. After nearly 10 years of development, with financial support from Chinese government, we have constructed a grid platform, that grid, and a separate grid node within the frame of China grid. And we have developed two ap applications, named the TCM project and the MESO project. Now we will first present the data grid. The data grid is developed independently by Zhejiang University. That grid is a semantic-based informatics infrastructure used for building large-scale data grid application. It supports performance of dynamic data-based integration and measurement. It has implemented many functions such as distribute, semantic search, semantic register, and semantic analysis. This is a architecture of this data grid. The data grid has five levels, from resource level, global space level, data grid base, data grid semantic tool and applications. The data grid platform developed by G24 follows the GSA OGSI standard. It is composed of multi-level knowledge, knowledge grid service and applications. Presently, uh, based on the data grid, we have already developed a TCM, which is named the semantic grid solution for traditional Chinese medicine. TCM system aims at uh, integrating the sharing TCM resource and expertise. It is called collaborative efforts between Zhejiang University and the China academic of traditional Chinese medicine. Built upon the data grid platform, the TCM gathered over 13,000 ancient books and 530,700 papers of traditional Chinese medicine from more than 50 databases located in 17 different provinces of China. It is the largest data grid for traditional Chinese medicine. Here is the TCM portals. If somebody interesting, we can visit the portal from the official, official website. The second project is called the Massive Project. The Massive stands for major disciplinary applications oriented simulation in the visualization environments. This project, uh, by this project, we have established a center for engineering and scientific computing in Zhejiang University. This project aims at building a grid platform to enable larger scale and distribute engineering and scientific computing, new, numerical simulation and visualization. It has established a grid node within the frame of China Grid. Uh, the massive have uh, foreign computing capability and device. At the present time, uh, the computer resource available in Zhejiang University included the uh, uh, Zetong 2000 PC cluster and SGI Honest 3900 with 64P and the SGI Origin 2000 with 8P. Uh, Downing TC 2400 LPC cluster with 48P. Totally, the agreed 
get the computing power is 300 gigabytes. Uh, here is the massive architecture, about have four levels. The massive level is between grid middleware and the engineering app uh, applications. It provides an uh, integrated development environment and a high level service oriented to engineering application. Here is some massive services. The first service is the mesh generation services. This project aims at integrating CAD and mesh generating capability. The second service is a computing program solving, uh, solving service. Here is the tired display wall. Based upon this wall, the mesh aimed at supporting collaborate visualization for mesh generation and visual steering of CSM and CFD simulations. The, another service is a portal service. The portal service provides a user interface to use a grid and can submit, schedule, and steer a task. It's hiding the complexity of a grid system from any user and uh, provide the portal API with which application can be developed and uh, deployed more efficiently and the grid environments. The three main functionalities is resource discovery, file transfer, and dynamic resource collaboration. The second topic of today's presentation is what is our plan in the next step. In the next step, is first, the ongoing test of the above two projects. The massive project major tests include supporting data grid service for managing massive data, and distribute cooperation visualization and real-time rendering of massive data set. The CTM project major task include developing of larger scale applications based on the mass resource of Chinese traditional medicine further research and distribute semantic search arithmetic, further Im improvement of TCM autology grade performance. Besides, we were also to uh, build the grid environments of the campus in Zhejiang University. First, we will provide the teaching service, wide range of teaching env environments simulations which were imposing 3D and video technology on the production of all kinds of courseware, which will bring the students of a virtual reality for learning. Secondly, we will give a great learning and practice environments, provide students an experimental places to learn great technology. Also, the great environments of the campus, we were uh, provide for scientific research. First is grid computing. Use the massive projects as a base. We aim at increasing the number of grid nodes and promoting the capability of computation, computation step by step, constructing a high performance computing center. There are more than 50,000 PC and 200 high performance computer. How can we use it for opportunities? opportunities. Also, we will give a digital museum grid. Presently, we have having construct a digital museum system on the network, which will include the exhibition of cultural and history, historical relics, such as the Deng Fong Fresco. We will use grid technology to increase the availability of remote romancing and visualization, and this system can be moved to a grid platform. Here is uh, some example about the digital museum grid. The left is the Deng Huang fresco, the right is the Hongzhou historical relics. Finally, we also will give an uh, information service which includes the massive storage and large-scale resource sharing. 
make full use of available storage space, ensures a mass information security and reliability. Now, there is over more than one million e-books in the library of Sichuan University, and over 1,000 excellent multimedia courses and a large amount of studying resources. How can we store them with great technology? How to develop the resource share on large-scale securities? Here also is an example about the million book digital library and studying resource portals. So much for my presentations. Thank you very much.